This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1752. How to Use Primal Movement to Rebel Against Captivity, part one, by Jonathan Mead with nerdfitness.com. And I'm Dr. Neil, your very own personal narrator. Hey there, happy Monday, and welcome to another edition of Optimal Health Daily, where I read some of the best blogs covering health and fitness, just like an audiobook, and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. Now don't forget, we have a bunch of shows narrating blogs. Just search for Optimal Living Daily to find all of them. Now, today's post is a bit longer than what I typically narrate. So whenever that happens, I read the first half today and then finish it up for you tomorrow. So with that, let's get right to the first half as we optimize your life. How to Use Primal Movement to Rebel Against Captivity, Part 1, by Jonathan Mead with nerdfitness.com. I'm no historian or anthropologist, but I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to see that, over time, we've come to move less and less, thanks to amazing advances in technology. Simply put, our bodies are capable of amazing things, but we no longer need to do these things in order to survive. How did this happen, and how has it changed us as a species? First, the agricultural revolution allowed people to specialize and outsource movement to farmers the birth of the division of labor. Then, there was the Industrial Revolution, which allowed for even less movement with the advent of machines to do much of the work for us. Finally, the Technological Revolution made movement practically obsolete. A meal, book, even a date on OkCupid is just a click away. You can now even order a pizza by sending an emoji. Although it's not our fault we don't have to move much anymore, it is our responsibility to address it. Our lives simply don't require it anymore. The empire, boo, took over and changed the way we live by removing any physical requirement from existence. Unfortunately, this sets us up for disaster when we do try to move more often, when we go from sitting for 10 to 12 hours a day to trying to train martial arts or parkour, playing kickball, or even picking up groceries. It's no wonder injuries are commonplace. If you're looking to improve your physical well-being, remain injury-free, and set yourself up to succeed with whatever form of fun activity you choose to get your heart racing, it's time to start moving, like we are genetically designed to move. Let's take a look at how to master our body's controls and rebel against captivity. Anti-fragility is your natural, primal state. Believe it or not, you grow stronger when you expose your body to chaos. The problem is, Modern life has made everything predictable and much too comfortable. This isn't a surprise if you've ever seen the movie Madagascar. Take an animal raised in temperature-controlled captivity and compare them to an animal raised in the wild. Which one do you think is better prepared to handle life in the jungle? In Steve's article on becoming anti-fragile, he talks about how some things grow stronger through unpredictability, breakdown, and stress. It's no surprise that our man-made habitat traveling from couch to car to computer desk each day, has allowed our bodies to break down. Like in WALL-E, modern life has removed the survival of the fittest aspect from the human race, and thus, we no longer take care of ourselves physically to get food or shelter. We need to reintroduce this element into our lives as much as possible, if we're going to level up our bodies. Think for a moment about how your joints and ligaments would develop. Option 1. Walking in an air-conditioned gym on a treadmill at precisely 3.5 miles per hour. Option two, traversing a trail covered with rocks, dirt, mud, and branches in your way. You might need to hop from rock to rock on all fours, crawl under a branch, and jump over the mud. Because of the natural variability of terrain and your tasks for the day, your joints are going to be moved in many different ways, in many different angles you're forced to respond to the elements and constantly adapt. Take away the unpredictability of life, like sitting in a chair all day, or never lifting anything heavier than three pounds, and you create weakness and vulnerability that can result in problems when you face any real-world scenario that requires even a base level of physical fitness. Disaster. It sounds counterintuitive, but our bodies crave unpredictability and continuous stressors. Too much of the same pattern in our temperature-controlled, artificially lit, smoothed edges lives 
and we become increasingly vulnerable to injury and breakdown. In fact, there has been a recent study that showed an increased chance of children developing peanut allergies when they're kept away from peanuts beginning at birth. This is why playing in the mud as a kid can actually be really beneficial for your body's immune system development. So get started, get uncomfortable, and start pushing your body outside of its safe zone. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Anti-fragility is the goal. So how do we fix this mess and start moving better? Good question. Research the way your body moves. Be curious. Of course, it's easy for me to say that, but a bit tougher to explain. Most of us have gotten so far away from this way of living that we need a framework to get us back on track. If you're somebody who struggles with lower back pain, despite all of modern life's creature comforts, make sure you start implementing these movements. Don't set yourself up to suffer through inaction. Here are two movements that you can start with right now that every human should master. Hear that on tomorrow's episode. You just listened to part one of the post titled How to Use Primal Movement to Rebel Against Captivity by Jonathan Mead with nerdfitness.com. When you want to improve your work life, you surround yourself with the best people you can find. So how do you find them? You need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for candidates with the right skills, Indeed's a powerful hiring partner that can help you do it all. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it makes hiring all in one place so easy because with virtual interviews, Indeed saves you time. After using Indeed's virtual interviews, most employers said it saved them days of hiring time, according to Indeed Data US. Sign up for Indeed now and get a $75 credit toward your first sponsored job. Plus, earn up to $500 extra in sponsored job credits with Indeed's virtual interviews. Visit indeed.com slash health to learn more. Claim your credits at indeed.com slash health indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. This article reminded me of something one of my soccer coaches made us do. He would try and trick our bodies and make sure to incorporate a little bit of chaos into soccer practice. He would make us perform these odd exercises. At least, I thought they were odd at the time. It turns out his training methods were probably way ahead of their time. Some of his training methods are actually really common now. They're often used as, again, a way to mix up the training and provide some muscle confusion. I'll give you an example. After running what seemed like endless laps around the soccer field, he would make us perform bear crawls. Now, in case you're not familiar with this particularly exhausting movement, imagine holding the plank position and then trying to walk. So you're on your hands and toes. If you've ever tried this type of movement, you'll know that you feel it everywhere, your shoulders, your lower back, your legs. And because all of these muscles are working at the same time, it's exhausting. My coach would make us bear crawl 100 yards, then turn around and come back. And I hated him for it. At least until my team made it to the final round of the playoffs that year. Now, of course, making it to the playoffs may or may not have been due to my coach getting us in great shape, but it probably didn't hurt. All right, that ought to do it for today. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for listening every day. Thank you for sharing this show with someone. Remember, I'll be back here tomorrow to finish up this post, so I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits.